COVID-19 pandemic has wreaked havoc in the lives of countless Bahamians, especially those who are struggling to put food on the table before the onset of the medical emergency. For a paralyzed mom of three who rations daily meals and walks nearly a mile to collect food parcels from local churches, the situation has become more difficult than ever. When I was around 13, I contracted a fever, a severe fever that um, paralyzed me. And it left me um, paralyzed, but I couldn't walk. Um, my mommy took me to a trade service that I got healed and I had to walk, but it, it totally paralyzed me, left me like this. After I come to the hospital, and I was like this ever since. 42-year-old Indiana Claire is soft-spoken but extremely determined. Claire, who has two teenage daughters and an 11-year-old son, is paralyzed on the left side of her body. It's a condition she has had to live with for 29 years after she contracted meningitis as a child. Um, I feel like all different boys and people look at me different. They don't see me as like uh, functional, like everybody else. They always think that I can't do this, I can't do that. But all in all, truly I could do everything for myself, mostly everything. Um, and um, people thought I couldn't bring no children, but God showed that there was a better way and I could do what everybody else could do. Even though they, they treat me differently and they see me as, a, as this person that do look like everybody else. They, uh, about my, how I walk, how I talk, they always looking down at me and I just don't feel comfortable no more. She says her paralysis has made many things more difficult for her. I know it's something that I have to do. And if I don't do it, nobody can do it for me. So I have to get out there and go and make, make ends meet myself someday. Despite feeling uncomfortable in her own skin, Claire has not let her challenges damper her determination. She makes weekly tracks to food banks in her community where she collects a bag of food that she makes last a week by skipping one meal per day. She says she also collects just under $300 in disability from the National Insurance Board every month. The Rupert Dean resident says the recent lockdown has meant she will have to try even harder to get food on the table. Just give me a chance, let me prove myself. And if you don't think I'm doing a good job at what you employ me to do, then um, I can make you say that you can keep me on. You just can like, but just give me that one chance, that one chance to prove myself. I never got a chance in life to prove myself, uh, uh, job wise. So I just need to feel that comfortability that I can do everything. She adds that the pandemic has also had a significant impact on her kids, particularly her young son Joshua, who has not been able to attend virtual classes as he doesn't have a cell phone, computer or internet at home. Claire says while she has come to rely on strangers, she does want to do what she can for herself. Many times I always break down, it, but I try hard to be, be strong sometimes because many times that day my room just frustrated and thinking about everything. That's about thinking about life and think about how my day is going to go. Each and every day I think about it because I just want, want to be accepted like everybody else. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.